Hey guys, welcome back. It's that time of the week again. It's the reversal roundup. Myself, Logan Sama, back where I belong in the hot seat. We got that other guy out. He's back to, I don't know what he's doing wrestling or some nonsense anyway let's take a look at some of the biggest and most exciting tournaments from around the four corners of the fgc globe from this past week welcome back everybody to dreamhack winter 2022 dreamhack returned to yon shopping for their winter iteration and the fgc was present once again in Guilty Gear Strive, Alexia resetting Grand Finals in a nail-biting first set. Alexia took the lead in the reset bracket, but Lima von Lima of Sweden came back and we were going to another final game. In what couldn't have been a closer Grand Finals, both sets going to last game last round, it was Alexia D who took it, that Ramlethal too strong on the day. Yeah, that's, that's it. it. That's Street Fighter V was well represented by players that you'll see regularly in the CPT World Warrior for the region. Most notably, of course, were the 0 0 Nation team who scooped all three top spots. With Veggie eliminated 3 0 in losers' final, it came down to Reichmann's Barnet to challenge Phenom in the grand final. After a difficult looking first game, Rickman's Barnet drew for one of his secondary characters in Falk and the difference seemed to be immediate. But consummate professional Phenom stepped it up a gear and pulled ahead as we went into the final game. And with an emphatic statement in the last round with a perfect Phenom closed out and asserted his dominance in the region here at DreamHack. Your, your DreamHack Winter 2022 champion is over in Smash Ultimate, there were 55 players representing in the bracket, and despite losing early on to Hope in winners' quarterfinals, Time Ballon made quite a loser's run. They faced Hope back again in grand finals and managed to not only reset the bracket but get the job done to close it out and take the title. Reversal! Team it! TB takes it! TB takes Dreamhack Winter! Welcome to the Capcom Pro Tour. This is East Europe. Eastern Europe's Capcom Cup qualifiers this weekend and Poland's Merken cruised through the winner sides to the final without dropping a single game. They faced tougher competition though from Bulgarian Karl Mal. Karl Mal managing to reset the grand finals but Merken switched back to G after opening it up with Cody and managed to close it out and take that spot at Capcom Cup for Poland. Mirkin is your Capcom Pro Tour East Europe champion. In this week's World Warrior Program, another six regions reached the end of their season and Japan marched towards the end of theirs. First up, it was Canada West and in Wednesday Night Fights, it was Super Friends who managed to reset the bracket in Grand Finals and take the win with Ryu. With Saltman League's Nordic and Baltic Week 5 happening the same time as DreamHack, a number of players tried to enter online from the LAN itself. But it was Wynan's Kage that took the W. It, Wynan is going to take it in the grand final. Over in Asia Southeast in versus Community, Lacuna C took the win with Falk over Fight Amir after an epic loser's run. In France and at UOS, Valmaster cemented his first place with another victory, beating out Link Xolo in Grand Finals. In South Korea at Spirit Zero's event, M Lizard, better known as Tornike, defeated Lenini's Ken, who sent NL to losers earlier. Over in the Middle East at Slash and Dash, it was GTR who managed to get the job done with Oro, beating Volcano Rosso in Grand Finals. All those regions are now closed off now and you can see exactly who has qualified for regional finals over on the CapcomProTour.com website. Japan's still trucking on though, they're in week four of their World Warrior program and Takedo had a series of back and forth battles with Pugera. It was fitting that the grand finals went to last game last round and Takedo spent all the resources to close this one up. This past week at London's Red Bull Gaming Sphere, it was the Tekken UK and Ireland region finals. One of the favourites in the tournament and one of the most informed players in Europe at the moment is Joker and they made a big statement in their opening match against Gossain. 
But in winner's final, it was a matchup we've seen many times before as Chicken Maru faced Kane and Trench. It was Kane who not only booked their place in grand finals in winner's side, but also one of the two guaranteed spots at the European region finals from this event. On the loser's side, it was Fergus who was making a big statement, reminding us that it was UK and Ireland representing as he swept Joker six rounds straight. Going into this all-important losers final, the winner would book that second spot at the regional finals, and it was Chicken Maru versus Fergus. Things looked to be going great for Fergus, taking that momentum into this match, and he went two games ahead. But Chicken Maru clutched out this comeback to start turning the momentum round. By the time Chicken Maru managed to take it to a final game, final, final round, Fergus had definitely lost his composure and in a heartbreaking defeat saw him go down 3-2 as Chicken Maru got the run back in grand finals and more importantly that spot at the European region finals. In the grand finals Kane and Trench closed it out 3-1 and he was a worthy victor on the day. Ten seconds. No, no, that's that's gonna be it. Kane and Trench is going to be a UK Ireland championship finals champion here it's going to be kane and chicken maru that head to the u regional finals later on this season good luck to them the grand blue versus community league continues this week in eu south and the final four was streamed with mike ross and virum on the mic tk dog of spain booked their place in grand finals with a convincing victory over compatriot garvid in winners finals but it was Kotesh of Italy who got the run back with TK after securing the loser's finals win. In grand finals, TK Dog went 2-0 up and looked to be coasting, but Kotesh managed to bring it back to a final game to make a real contest of it. However, in the end, TK Dog managed to close it out and take the victory. TK advances to the EU regional finals and the Community League continues around the world on versus Asia. Phaja is the biggest esports and video games festival in Africa and it came back for its sixth edition this year in Abidjan in the Côte d'Ivoire. There were a lot of games understandably part of the event, many outside of the fighting game genre like FIFA and Clash Royale for example. But of course we're going to be focusing on the fighting game side. In Street Fighter V winners final saw Lord Nocum's Luke go up against Mark McMaster's Ken. And it was a 3-1 victory that saw Lord Nocum move into grand finals on the winner's side. After taking the loser's finals in a classic Ken vs Ryu Shoto face-off against Movux, it was time for the run back for Mark McMasters. But unfortunately, this time Lord Nocum's switch to Cody proved way too strong in grand finals and he took a 3-0 sweep to win the tournament. On the Tekken side, it was a very similar story, with Shaoling sending Phoenix to losers after a 3-0 sweep in winner's final. No! Phoenix fought his way back to grand finals to earn a run back after beating AMD in losers, despite the change to Noctis after losing with Ganyu. But unfortunately, grand finals were just as harsh as winners finals, as Shaoling defends home turf with another 3-0 sweep and a crazy comeback in the final round to grasp victory and the title firmly in his hands. Over in Japan for Smash Ultimate at Sumabato 32, Raizas won the tournament without dropping a single set. He made an impressive run playing plenty of different characters, including the unexpected Marth. And despite facing Hikaru and going 2-0 down, it was Sephiroth that brought him the win 3-2. Over to Texas now for some more Smash Ultimate and battle was fierce for the second edition of Interstellar. While having the clear upper hand in winners finals, Nico failed to close both sets in grand finals against Anathema and despite having a 2-0 lead in both sets in grand finals, Anathema managed to reverse 3-0 twice in a row in a more than stressful grand finals. Oh, and no, they was a clip anyways, and Anathema's gonna win. Team Stickbug celebrated Blaze's birthday with offline competition at Next Level in New York this past week. In Blaze Blue CF, it was Base Tuxedo Mask who took the win with Rachel. 
and in strive Sin Cisco reset the bracket, but that only served to wake up Minus. Minus looked to be cruising to a 3-0 win in the grand final reset bracket, so much so- Oh, wait, he's still alive. Did he unplug? He un <laughs> whoops. That Sin Cisco was asleep at the wheel, but Minus was still able to close it out and take the win here. Chance, sir. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> And finally this week with the release of Sin for Guilty Gear Strive, I wanted to take a look at something a little bit different. Backpacks Brawl is an event that's been happening for a while and Diaphone decided to use this as a testing ground for his Day 2 Sin. Things look to be going great as he coasted to winners finals with this perfect. Uh, no, 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 my sin's clean, my sin's clean. But things started to go off course as a few errors crept in and cost him a place in the winners side. He managed to earn the run back in grand finals by beating Lurie in convincing fashion in losers. The grand final was reset with an emphatic statement, three straight games. And then Diaphone closed it out 3-1 to take the tournament with their day two sin. Let's go. <laughs> to celebrate a glue eating tier list for the chat. And if you want to see more of that, head over to Diaphone's YouTube channel. I'm sure it's worth a watch. That is unfortunately all we've got time for this week on the Roundup. Don't forget though, check back later in the week for our Street Fighter League Roundup where we check in on all three of the regions that are competing right now in Street Fighter League for Street Fighter 5. And of course, catch us live on the channel broadcasting events. If you missed any of the VODs from UFA, go and check them out right now. There's some incredible stuff on there. Brand new content as well, drop in with some of your favorite FGC personalities all the time on the YouTube, so make sure you give that a follow. Make sure you're subscribing, and please get involved in the comments. Drop us a comment and let us know which your favorite event was this past week, which events that we need to be covering. What are we missing? Let us know, and give us a follow on social media as well. It's reversal underscore GG on Twitter, and we are now also on Instagram. So we'll see you there, and I'll see you next week.